Welcome to this Stiegel video about how to install Google Analytics to Google Sites. As you know, Google Analytics is a powerful tool that tracks your website and marketing performance so that you can improve it. So step number one is to create a Google Analytics account. So in order to do that, we need to access analytics.google.com from your web browser. and click on set up for free. Then add an account name. So we're gonna call this test account. And then leave the recommended options ticked and click on next. Now we have to set up the property. A property represents the data for a website or an application. Provide a name for the property. We will call it test account data in this example. Choose your time zone so the reports are synchronized with the local time and select your currency as well. Currency is down here. And then let's click on next. Now you need to provide your business information. So we need to choose what's the industry category. Um, I will choose hobbies and leisure for this example. And business size. And on the section that reads, how do you intend to use Google Analytics with your business? I will just select measure customer engagement with my site or app and optimize my site or app experience. And I'll click on create at the bottom. All right, now on this next page, this is the Google Analytics Terms of Service Agreement, okay? Just make sure you read both sections and check the boxes. and click on I accept at the bottom. Okay, so this next screen shows a pop-up with some email preferences for email communications. Here you'll be able to choose what comes you would like to receive from Google, where they may send you advice on how to improve performance or participate on surveys. Just make sure you read all the options and opt in to those you may find useful. For this, this particular example, I'll simply ignore all and click on save. And that's how simple it is to create a Google Analytics account. Okay, now all we need to do is to set up the data stream to start collecting data. I know this is a new step, but for, for us to start measuring data on a site, uh, this is something that's necessary. Okay, so let's click on web and we need to provide the website URL. We don't have a website yet, so we're gonna create one from a template. So I'm going into Google Sites and I'll use the template gallery. Let's scroll down and I'll use the restaurant template. So this is going to be my website and what I need to do is to publish the website. So I'll click on publish. That's the web address the system's giving me automatically. And I need to change how the website's gonna behave whenever I publish uh, its URL. So now it's published for Stiegel. Now I'm gonna make it public. So everyone visiting the website's link will be able to see it, its content. And I'll click on done, okay? And I'm Clicking publish now, it should be good to go now. All right, now uh, I need to get the URL. So I'll click here on the top, publish the site link. I'll click on copy link and I need to go back to analytics. So here I'm pasting the, the URL and I'm removing the HTTPS protocol and uh, you don't need to do this, but I'm going to remove the home and you need to give it a name. Okay. 
So let's call it restaurant. And that's it. Okay. So um, now analytics has this en enhancement measurement. Uh, it definitely is something new and uh, imp improves the type of measures that analytics is able to do on your site. And basically it will do the following. It will not only uh, measure how many visits you've received, but also scrolls, you know, page scro scrolls up or down, outbound clicks, like if there is a link that leads to some other page outside your Google site, then uh, this is this is actually measuring it. Uh, if you have a, a, a search bar installed and you're allowing folks, uh, visitors, to do some searches, then it also going to show you how many people are using that. Uh, video engagement as well. If you have any embedded video or uh, even if it's a YouTube video you have on your site, um, you will be able to see how many people are clicking on the video and actually viewing it. Uh, file downloads. If you have any any page on your website that has downloads, uh, you will be able to measure that too. So you can turn that off and only enable the page views by clicking on this toggle here. Right? I'm going to turn it off so you can see. And let me just go back to it. And you can also select what you want to measure and what not by just uh, going here. And I, I just clicked on the on the gear icon here. And you can just turn off any of these like this if you won't like to measure those, right? When you're good to go, just click on Save and then click on Create Stream. And here is where you get the measurement ID, okay? So at this point, all you need to do is to copy this measurement ID by, by highlighting it or just click here on the copy button. It does it automatically for you. Now you need to go back to the site. That's going to be the next and final step. So let's go back to the site. Now, this is remember that this is the edit version of the site. This is not the published version. I'm going to show you in a minute. Um, so you need to go into the settings of the site, and that's right here. On the gear icon, you click on, on it, and then you click on analytics. And here is where you paste the measurement ID. Okay, so as soon as, as the system understands it's a valid ID, then it will uh, toggle it on to enable it, and you're good to go. Just X out of that screen, and that's it. Okay, so at this point, the measurement should be working and should be actually measuring everything that's happening on your website. So let's just go ahead and let me show you how the site's gonna look like uh, when published. And for that, I'm just copying the URL and I'm opening an incognito browser here. I'm pasting the URL. And I'm just, I'm a visitor, right? And I'm gonna navigate the page, the website, I'm sorry, through its pages. All I'm doing is just using, simu simulating that I'm using the page uh, as a visitor. And let me go back to analytics. And now uh, I'm, I'm back on analytics and what I'm going to show you is how it looks like if you would like to see a real-time analytics report. You click here on real-time and this is what you'll get, right? So I'm located here and this is the user. This is myself in the last 30 minutes, uh, users per minute, right? Um, and here you can see the... Uh, how many users have visited the site and what are the, the, the pages, right? That the, uh, that this user was actually visiting and whatnot. Okay. And with that, we conclude today's video. Thank you very much for watching.